throw a shooter. One out of two. And it's an eight-point game. Still a three-possession game, yeah, Jimmy. a lot of time. They're going to look for a steal in the corner or get a quick steal. There, there's the foul. Sometimes, depending on the coaches, they look at, okay, can we entice the team to catch the ball in the corner, maybe hold it for five seconds, anticipating a foul, but if it comes out, take the first foul. But the Hawks chose to preserve some ticks on the clock and take a quick one. This game was tied at 91 with five minutes remaining. Hawks have missed their last eight shots. That's the last foul to give for Atlanta right there. And trying to get a foul. They need one quickly. A lot of clock is ticking off here. And finally, Hunter fouls Alec Burks. An 86% free throw shooter. That's a man they want at the line. I was talking to Mike Breen before the game here tonight, the great voice of the Knicks, great voice of ESPN and ABC. Just inducted into the Hall of Fame. Jimmy said it was a top five experience at Madison Square Garden for, for Mike Breen, who's seen all these Knicks games on Sunday. And I think they've matched that here today. I mean, we've missed the fans, and these oh, yeah. fans have missed each other. This communal affair here. At MSG, it is something to behold. Alec Burks adds to the lead. It is back to nine. And Young throws it away, and Knicks fans will delight in that. But you know what? It, let's say this, and the, the Knicks are going to walk out of here with this dub, okay? But if you're the Hawks, you did your job. Why? You split the series yeah. there on the road. You took home court advantage, and now you have a chance when you get back to Atlanta to utilize your home court. A victory lap here for the Knicks. What a finish. Ice cold shooting from the Atlanta Hawks. And the Knicks go on a big run and they win this one 101 to 92. This series is all tied at one apiece. Trey Young goes for 30. Randall and Bullock with 15 apiece. Derrick Rose led all scores with 26. Uh, Derrick Rose is standing by to join us from the Garden in New York. Uh, Derrick, thank you very much. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny and Charles and Shaq. Was and, good. Uh, yeah, was good. Good. Hey, uh, so how you feeling? You averaged about 28 minutes a game in the regular season. You logged 39 tonight. Tibbs has been has been riding you. Uh, yeah. How you feeling? And, and tell me about this win and how you guys pulled it off when you were down double digits in the third. Oh, uh, man, I've been dreaming about this moment for a long time. In the past, people said I couldn't play the minutes. They was worried about it, but uh, I knew all along how much hard work I put into it. Like I said, you could, I'll be on, in practice, I'll be on my feet for two hours. So you tell me I can't play like 30 minutes in a game with the way that I changed, the way that I played. So um, uh, I'm happy with my um, endurance. Um, I'm happy that we got the win tonight, too. Um, took a lot out of it. Uh, Derek Shack here. Not a lot of experience in the team. Not a lot of guys used to playing under the bright lights in New York City. With you being a veteran, what do you say to uh, Julius Randle? really hasn't played up to his potential. You know, the same potential to help him get the reward. You guys to split. But, you know, as a veteran, what do you say to Julian Randle to calm him down, you know, to get him back going again? Oh, you know, it's his first series. So it's all about just getting the nerves out, butterflies out. And um, tonight, late in the game, he got that confidence. So it's about just playing. Um, whenever it's going to be your first time, you're a novice to it. So you don't know. So it's my job to come in, um, try to play aggressive, take. Um, the pressure off of him. Um, um, they double him every time he get the ball early, so he got to find ways to read the game, move around so he can get the ball. And, um, yeah, it's his first time, bro, so it's my job to try, just try to calm that down. Well, number one, uh, Derek, you played fantastic tonight, and you've had a great season. Thank you. When, when did Coach Tibbs say, hey, man, I'm going to ride you. I'm switching this thing up because this is a must win. When he, what did, right after halftime he said that to you? Man, he said it right in front of the whole team. I didn't know it. Um, he just said I, I was starting, so I had to come out here 32 years old, so you got warm-up kind of different at halftime, bro. So um, came out here, tried to get ready, 
um, just try to push the ball as much as possible, um, get guys open, but um, they, they wasn't doubling me, so I was able to get into the lane and, and, and try to get easy shots. Now Derek, congratulations on the win. Congratulations on a great game. Uh, my question is, at this age, you're 32, I've, I've never, I've, honestly, I've never seen a player do what you've done in terms of this. Like, you came into the league as one thing, and then now you're something else, but you're still as effective. What's, the, yeah. what's easy right now? Easier than when you were high flying, and now what's tougher than now that you're high flying, not high flying? Um, easy, I would say, um, because I, I went through so many injuries, I had to find out my rhythm into my shot. I had to, I put hours into that, just trying to figure out what's my one-two, what's my hezo, and I'm still trying to put it together. Um, as you can see, with right now, I'm, I'm left-hand dominant and just trying to uh, figure out what's going to be my bounce. And um, the hardest thing, um, I wouldn't say anything's hard, man. I'm just very blessed and for fortunate to be in this situation. I always live by the five P's. Proper preparation prevents poor performance, and I'm always making sure that I'm prepared. So I'm just blessed and fortunate to be here, back here again. 26 points on the night for Derrick Rose, who is closer to 33 than 32, as a matter of fact. Well done tonight, D. Rose. Thank you. What a night. Yeah. What a he, game. You know, Ernie, great he's series. a great kid, too. He's no a doubt. great kid. Donovan Mitchell is back. Utah hosting Memphis next.